Hello viewers, welcome to an interesting and colorful world of chemistry. When we talk about colorful chemistry, we start thinking about acid base chemistry and terms like pH of solution, neutralization process, indicators and so on immediately comes to our mind. Do you remember some fundamental facts related to acid base chemistry? Let us revise quickly. Acids produce hydrogen ions and bases produce hydroxyl ions in solution. pH is a scale to measure hydrogen ion concentration in a solution. pH of acids is less than 7 while pH of a base is more than 7. During the process of neutralization, hydrogen ions from acid combine with hydroxyl ions of a base and water is formed. Strong acids and strong bases are completely dissociated in solution. Now we focus on neutralization process of strong acid and strong base solutions. We will try to understand how does the amount of hydrogen ions change into solution during the process of neutralization. For this, we will use titrimetric analysis method to determine hydrogen ion concentration in solution. We know that in titrimetric analysis, we determine concentration of solutions through volume measurements. That means, solution of known concentration, which is called standard solution or titrant, is treated with solution of unknown concentration, which is called titrant and the process of adding a solution from burette to the other solution taken in conical flask is called titration. Now question arises, how much solution should be added to complete the reaction or how do we come to know about the completion of a reaction? We should add enough solution so that neutralization reaction is complete. The stage at which it happens is called equivalence point. However, it cannot be detected visually because color of the solution does not change up to this stage. We must add one drop axis of the titrant to change the color of the solution which can be seen clearly. This point is called the end point of the titration. We are well aware about color change of indicators with acid and bases. So we use indicators to identify the endpoint in acid base titrations. Now we start with the experiment which aims to study the change in pH during the titration of a strong acid with a strong base by using universal indicator. For this we have a burette. two beakers of 250 ml capacity, a conical flask of 100 ml capacity, pH chart, two stock solutions, one is sodium hydroxide solution and another is hydrochloric acid solution and universal indicator and of course one funnel. So friends, get ready to observe. Let us take these stock solutions into beakers. This is hydrochloric acid solution. And now I am pouring sodium hydroxide solution into beaker. Now we start titration. Before starting titration, we note down the reading of burette that is the initial reading 
which is 0, the lower meniscus is at 0. So, now I have taken 10 ml of HCl in the pipette and transferring it into conical flask. When we transfer the solution into conical flask, take care Observe the color of solution which matches with pH 4. Now we start titration. The color of solution you can see. Now I will add sodium hydroxide solution drop by drop into conical flask. are moving slightly towards orange shade. change happens means how much amount of sodium hydroxide is being consumed.
sodium hydroxide solution into HCl. Let's observe a have taken burette readings as well. At 11 pH, the reading of burette is 11.7 ml. You must have observed that in each edition, there is color change. We observed how pH gets changed by adding NaOH solution to acid solution. You must be curious and thinking, why does pH of solution increases on adding sodium hydroxide to acid solution? Find out the answer. So today we have learned that pH of acid gets changed on adding base or vice versa. We have seen that initially pH of acid solution changes very slowly on adding base solution. But near equivalence point, change in pH is very rapid. Now there is something to do for you. Which type of trend would you expect when neutralization of weak acid is done with strong base. At which pH range did you observe sharp color? You must have enjoyed beautiful color changes during the reaction between strong acid and strong base in presence of universal indicator. Thank you.